Alright guys, Bilem here back with the final episode of the Disco Elysium Let's Play. I thought it was going to be the last episode. This conversation went on for way too long. But we're going to continue on. Still, uh, an unfolding mechanism of reed like kiting hovering in place. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. The stick insect is over three meters tall. It looks straight at you with its tiny. You feel your legs shaking under you and your gun hands rise. In Tell me what you see. Come in. I can see. Four simple words. Thank God. If he can see, then you're not insane. But that means it's really there, spinning slowly in absolute silence. Its limbs long and slender. Be very, very careful. Okay. The creature stands on long stilt like legs, antennae hanging from his head like a woman's hair, white and curled at the tips. It is no more than five steps away from you. Reed like tufts stick out of its joints. As the insect moves its forearms, it produces a faint hiss. Like a reel to reel machine spinning after the tape breaks. Slowly, with your breath held, you take two small steps toward the phasmid. The creature lets out a series of ultrasonic clicks that swarm around your head like swallows. The tracheal system on the creature's abdomen expands in front of you to take in and expel air. It's smelling you. Hissing and clicking, it extends its mandible like antennae to grip. Maybe it is real, the pheromone. The insect's head is crowned with reed like scales, the shape of seed heads. They rustle as the air moves. The ventricles at its abdomen continue expanding like lunglets. Breathing you in, your sour, greasy semio chemicals on the breeze. The insect stops its stridulation, seeming to observe you. Below its crown of reeds, little pinprick eyes detect motion, glittering. The world stands still around you. Suddenly, there is silence. As you do, the invertebrate comes to life, its limbs moving independent of each other, as if each has a mind of its own. They are white, like stalks of porcelain, knitting above you. Praying to you. Unwittingly, the insect continues its stridulations. As it moves, tuft-like structures still pretending to be on, on its joints. <laughs> Total ancient silence comes from its mouth. You were right. Little bubbles form on them. Careful. It may be poisonous. The foam slowly turns a darker shade, like burnt caramel, as the insect moves its mouth parts, masticated. The little bubbles begin to burst. One by one. Fuck off. It's simple eyes. It's impossible to see inside. What the fuck is that? Okay. There is no change in the insect's motion while it's being aimed by the camera. It remains fixated on you. In three. If it moves, you jump back. I'll shoot. Here we go. Three. Two, one. 
The shrill flash of the camera cuts the air like the blue. The sweat in your arms feels cold as ice, as if you're frozen as well, in the shadow of this great statue of chitinous marble. above you, tufts of reeds pointed from limb and head alike. Odorless, mostly comprised of water. Tess, I'm looking this up and there really aren't that many videos on Disco Elysium. To the point where like, I mean, not many like, beyond high. like the standard like review. Show. It's much uh, that kind of makes me want to do a video feel a on soft it. Push could tip the creature over. It's hollow exoskeleton collapsing. Warning. <sighs> a small shadow passes the creature's arm. High above you, its black pearl eyes still glisten, mesmerized by the light passing its nervous system. There is some kind of countdown happening. Another shudder pulses through the creature's limbs. It jogs back to life, like a record could be nothing. Fuck it's off! Simple. It's spread too thin among it. As you back off, the phasmid also takes a step back into the reeds. Something tells you the next time you engage and disengage, it will probably flee. The arthropod follows you with its antennae. As you back I just realized, this go leaves in what best narrative? Come to its end, what was it up against? Death Stranding? First presenter, he is a screen Wait, let's look up. <laughs> You're welcome. The echoes of those games. I want to up what it was up against. Was the Plague Tale nominated? Let's see. This is 2019, right? Yeah, Plague Tale was nominated. Control. That's actually insane that this girl leaves a one eyes. That's stranding. I mean, I. To be honest, I think this girl. Yeah, it Yeah, I mean, like, Disco Leaf is probably third out of these three. I think Death Stranding, then Plague Tale, then Disco Elysium. That's kind of, again, that's pretty insane to me. Should we bother with five skill points, six skill points? Or am I just looking at the wrong thing? Two more. 
hissing and clicking, the arthropod extends its Nothing. Fuck off! What the fuck is the insect? As you're turning away, the phasmid mirrors your movements, stepping on the water. That's really some bullshit. Its feather weight without breaking its surface. And just like that, it's gone, skating away across the sea's calm mirror like a skipping stone, leaving nothing but circles on the water. And something under it, in the place it stood, bobbing there, among the reeds, a collection of items. It's gone. Our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. Also, it looks like the insect had some kind of nest there. Look, maybe it has left some proof. To some kind of the trembling between this and the broken tire is used for a boat. I think it's safe to leave him here. Old age and shock. Yes, dear. He did seem dist. I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. I no one would believe you. Okay, now we should turn. There we go. That's it. It's the end. Came from shit. Wait, fuck. Um, but this is an interesting ending. Um, I, I'm not like, oh my god, this is like the most incredible thing ever. But I'm like, that's fine. Like, I, I, I think it's an interesting wrap up the story. It would have been cool if like the uh deserter was more foreshadowed. Um but it's fine. Yeah I, I still enjoyed the game. Again when looking at my top games of the generation though, I don't think it hits the top twenty five. It's on the border. Like I think it's very much on the border. Like, I think it's it's probably better than Hellblade, which at that point, it's like... I mean, like, can I say it's better than, like... I mean, maybe it is better than Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know. I mean, I think I'll... I'll re I'm going to replay Ghost of Tsushima on my, uh... Uh... Well, I'm going to replay it on stream. And I think at that point, maybe I'll reassess. But, um... I, don't know, I think it's gonna be tough for it to reach the top 25, but we'll see. Because, like, I mean, the top 25, it's like the first three games on there are games that are on there because of they mean something to me. I think it's like, I don't know if nostalgia is really the right word, but like, uh, you have Watch Dogs, Tales from Borderlands, Firewatch. Like, I would say Disco Games is a better game than all three of those games, but I have more of an attachment to those three games. Uh, is it better than Rise of the Tomb Raider? Debatably, I, I think I enjoy playing Rise of Tomb Raider more, but is it a better game? Probably. It probably is. Uh, is it better than Hitman 2? I, I think they're around the same level. 
Uh, again, Ghost of Shima. I don't know. I think that's close. Death Stranding. I, I, I would say I enjoyed my time with Death Stranding more. Which I think that's like the full cutoff. Um, I feel like at that point I, I don't really see it going higher, but... Um, Let's. We are done here. The skiff rocks gently under your weight. As uh, you it in. could make it. The ride uh, back is uneventful and quiet. But for the sound of conversation on the water, there is someone inland waiting for you. You reach the jetty and climb out of the skiff. What's this? Oh. Look what the tide brought him. Yeah, thank God we didn't end the last episode. What does that or we did end the last episode. Mm. What the fuck is wrong with you? Whatever this is, it is completely unimportant compared to what you've just seen. This is the man with sunglasses from the whirling in rags. But where are his sunglasses? Yes, yes. What's wrong with you? We are not forgetting about it. Harry, you're a cop with piss on this back. Do you have any idea how hard the liberals are going to fuck us for this? Harry, there are probably pictures. They're going to fuck us to death. Yes, that could have been cameras. This needs damage control. There were not any camera. Hello? Um, Trent Heilerstein, I believe. I'm your goddamn partner, Jean Vicuma, oh, and this is your special task force, or what's left of it. Hmm. Special consultant Trent Heidelstam, Battle Officer Gilles Mino. Hi. Also, he was part of our crew too. The other guy. We've come to scrape what's left of you off the pavement. Lieutenant Kim Kisoragi, Prison 57. We've just come from the. The scene is making even him feel as though he has to justify your actions. We might need your help with something later. But this is clearly a departmental matter, so I'm going to leave you to discuss it among yourselves. It's good to meet you, Lieutenant Kitsuhagi. Letting the lieutenant know he shouldn't feel embarrassed over the shit. Ari, we want to help you. Trant, I believe this is where you come in? Um, I don't quite know what I'm doing here. I was asked to participate this night. I think I need to manage your expectations a little. I'm at best an enthusiast in cognitive science. My background is in something else entirely. I engage in neurology on a merely theoretical level. In fact, I should probably get going. No, Trump, it's too late. You're part of this shit now. What have you got to say for yourself, shit kid? Shit kid? What an interest in Monica. Guilty as charged. I heard you'd lost your mind and your memory. I wanted to see if it was true. And it was. Good work, Harry. You're insane now. There's one less person for me and everyone else. He was too sarcastic for you to realize who he was. Did you? Or did you literally not recognize my face? We've been partners for how long, Harry? Absolutely no idea. A hundred years? You. Maybe you've deserved. The cafeteria manager you fucked over told us where you went. Mm -hmm. Shit, kid. He didn't betray you. He just told us the direction you went in. <laughs> Super. Whore. Foreigners. Hatred. Um, and the uh, people on the street helped us too. You're a legend among the drunks, Harry. A legendary local drunk. Ah, you know. 
My name is not faced woman. <laughs> I was assigned to your unit two months ago. I thought we were friends. Okay. Because you're my commanding officer, I I really want to respect you. I want us to have a normal relationship. That will never happen, Jude. He's the rudest man. Yes. I'm Tran Heilerstein. I never said I wasn't Tran Heilerstein. Again, I was asked to share my take on some of the more French academic theories developed in Königstein in the 30s. For example, partial psychotraumatic amnesia, group personality theory. <sighs> He's here to see if you're insane. He is smart. Let's move on. Duped. Hey, here's a brilliant idea. Don't be a morbid drunk and you won't be duped so easily. Yes, I'm still Kim Kisuragi, still a lieutenant from Prison 57. Yeah, Major Crimes Unit, under Lieutenant Dubois and Vicamar. Ring any bells? Refresh your memory? It's a goddamn major crimes unit. There's... I'm technically just a civilian advisor. Oh, fuck you. You're part of... Oh, that's an interesting story, actually. Guillaume Bevy is a police reporter who joined our team. He was really good. Then he left because he lost faith in your ability to lead the unit. Other people have left too. Good, smart people. People we won't get back. Only me and this really patient patrol officer are still here. And Trump because I'm forcing him to stay. Is this Guillaume Bevy blonde and partial to sunglasses? See? There. He's getting it. I was impersonating him. Look at me, I'm G. Bevy. It was going to be funny, but then you really did have brain damage, so not so much anymore. Do. It's a major crimes unit. We clear the desk of cases, so pressing 41 doesn't look like the worst station in town. We are shit here now, Harry. Because of you. The 41st isn't... Where have we been? We've been fucking off, as far as I remember. You told us to fuck off. You said we're cramping your style. Your detective god. Fuck everything. All we burn. Detect or die. You were crying hysterically. You were drunk, breaking things, being emotionally abusive. You said we were going into the abyss. None of us wanted to see the abyss, so we fucked off. <sighs> like you told us to. Wait, what? There. The bell is hear. ringing because you have brain damage, Detective God. Tron, this is where you come in. How bad is it? Well, he doesn't have visible tremors, he talks without slurring, he can drive a boat, he's standing, reasoning. All good signs, but complete retrograde amnesia, episodic and semantic. Meaning, you forgot both who you are and the definitions of money, Isola, hell, and so on. As displayed in the station call, our interactions with him, and I don't want to be a snitch, but also mine with him before, when Harry did not seem to know who I was. It's all very interesting. Interesting? Yes, interesting. I have my theories, but I would like to hear Harry's thoughts first. Harry, what do you think happened to you? Neurologically, psychologically, and 
why not socioeconomically? Psychotraumatic amnesia, Trant? I can go for that. Shit, kid is a broken man. Always has been. Who isn't? I know I am. But you know what? I keep my shit together. Also, I know one person can't wipe their own mind. However traumatic it gets, that doesn't happen. You're lying. Or insane. Or both. But, Detective Big Man, he has blanked out before. Yes, a couple of times. After some of the more serious benders. One was after the two drunks case, the other when we looked into that mural. So you don't remember not remembering. Beautiful. The two cases in your ledger. The unsolvable case and the next world mural. Those were recent. Those cases were hard on you. Interesting. So at first he dipped his toes into it, prepared. That's where he would have gotten the idea, yes. Practice. And then he used alcohol to get there, so to speak. What do you mean? Well, here's my theory. What if this is an absolutely normal reaction to the world we're living in? What if this is not a significant anomaly at all? Something to be explained, a process, a defect. Look at the sensory input here. Look at the ruins, the neon. Listen to the radio, the multitudes, the people. I live here for 40 years. As a police detective, he's like a magnetic reader on the world team, to borrow a non-metaphor. Harry's been pushed flat against it. Totally. Hardwired to the free market. He just needed for its end. Oh my god, this is going forever. This is no we're almost at 30 minutes on this. What the fuck? I'm glad we brought you. Will he or will he not be able to work in a major crimes unit? Is he a cretin now? I want to know that. He's not a cretin, and he is able to do work. If not in his previous leadership role, then as a line detective. No, Harry. Fuck you. You already <laughs> fucked us. I've already explained this shit to Bryce twice. To Berdyayeva four times. I'm your partner. I answer for you when you're not there. Now nothing. No. Now we discuss that. What the fuck did you do to a motor carriage? Why is it there, Harry? Lie. Just bide your time. Ask something. Then lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, so refreshing. He just admits it. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for this. It doesn't matter. Your badge, Harry. Show me your badge. In a rush to demonstrate your badge, your eager fingers can't sustain a grip on the. Damn it. You juggle the badge for a second. Ouch. You straight. He found it. He found it, Jean. It's his badge. And your gun. As if having your badge and gu gun. Yeah, you don't have that. Maybe you can philosophize your way out of it. I don't care if you have a new gun. I only care about you. I don't care. Where is... 
I knew it. This isn't cause for celebration. It's bad. I would say it's very bad, yes. You're drunk like an asshole. You were never supposed to... Well, you let the suspect escape, classy or something, because you were too drunk to assess the flight risk. We've read the reports. Lieutenant Kitsuhagis. We know. Sure, if it's part of your master plan. Let's not even get into the other suspect. The one who shot herself in the head. Another detail? Or the fact that you're ever a Claire's little peony now, doing I don't know what for him. That's small time stuff. That's nothing. That's a humorous anecdote. Compared to the eight people who were gunned down, the streets of He did everything he could. We did everything we could. The company hired and vetted mercenaries. Lieutenant Dubois could between them and the locals. He did so at considerable risk to his own life. He was shot and survived only because of his armor. We stopped an execution, not a negotiation. The loss of life was minimal compared to what it could have been. Thank you for the input, Lieutenant Kitsuragi. I didn't mean to suggest you didn't handle the situation. <clears throat> You've spent the week with him on this case. What is your take? On um, the case? Well, the drinking, the gun losing, also losing the badge, that's so true. Although he has not been drinking on the job this week. See? One week. Then there's the superstardom. He likes to, from time to time, allude to being a superstar law official. At first I thought it was a joke, but now I'm not so sure. He says disco about 20 times a day. It's worrying, especially considering his political views. Detective Dubois is, you know, a Mazovian socio-economist. He wants to liquidate the ruling class, which, again, for a police officer, is a little odd. You should yell something. The RCM consists of policemen of the state that is, so a little discrepancy there. And then there's the motor carriage in the sea, something I was not present for. But despite all this, he is a great detective, one of the best I have seen, in fact. He can talk human beings into telling him anything, and he doesn't stop. In all the time I've spent with him, he has not once stopped working on the case. He is tireless, madly driven. And he solved it, near perfectly. In one week we have a confession, a murder weapon, and the perpetrator. Locked on the island right now, awaiting transportation. He apprehended the revolutionary brigade, who stayed hidden for 50 years, ever since the revolution. Who's probably committed other murders over those years. Oh, and he also discovered a new species. A new species. A 
colossal stick insect. It was on the island, camouflaged as the reed. It uh, unfolded from the reed. I think we may be dealing with the insulinian plasma. He takes out the photo of the phasmid and shows it to the officers across the yard. The wind blows, flapping the glossy rectangle in his hand. You hear gasps beneath the howling of the wind. As you can see, it's about three meters tall. Fucking hell. Is that... is this somehow connected to the case? The killer did not seem to be aware of the phasmid's presence, exhibiting a strange, atypical dementia. He fell into a stupor after its appearance. He became near catatonic. Yes, but also... So, it is connected. I must say, this is absolutely extraordinary. It's... I don't even have words for it. Yes, it really does make it hard to fire the drunk. This is a very, very sad man who has just seen something that's made him forget his sadness. Now you make your case. Now is the time. Now or never. Liliana. A revolutionary matronym. Now the custom started in Grad, where they have patronyms. Krasovich, Larsovich, etc. The revolutionary... I was thinking about starting Undertale tonight, but I'm fucking tired of this one. So probably not doing that. But not before it made it to Revachol. So, it is what a soldier of the ICM would be called. Thank you, Trant. Thank you for that piece of cultural theory. You said you have a motive? Of course, excuse me. I just thought it was noteworthy. He wasn't quite sure about the straggler before he heard this detail. It must have convinced him. Jealousy. I thought this Lilianovich was an old man, to have been hiding for 50 years, like 70 something. A strange psychosexual fascination, the result of spending all this time in solitude on the islands of this bay, and trauma too. He himself gave a political reason. In his mind, he had killed an enemy combatant. Also, we have a sniper's nest with full view of the room in which the mercenary died, right on the island, and two officers on the scene that Mr. Dross confessed to. It's a clean win. Ah, oh, sure. Oh, it's way more than that. Masterpiece. Get over yourself, Harry. I can still smell the booze on the wind. God damn it. Doesn't it ever leave? It it Who's Kuno? You don't want to know. You're right, Lidno. I don't. You snorted the drugs, I know you did. It's all right. I'm in. At this point, anything is but the drink. Mm. This is a conversation for when we are no longer out in the open. In Martinez, where Everhart and Edgar Claire have ears everywhere. And eyes, too. Your return from the island must not have gone unnoticed.
Understood, of course. I would prefer not to partake in anything union related for political neutrality. This has to be good stuff for him to backpedal out of it at f Yes, yes. Fallen through a gap in a boardwalk. Drunk. The body was transported to Precinct 41, our morgue. I had Tilbrook and Mullins take care of funeral arrangements and uh, family stuff. You're not the only cop in the world, Harry. This all comes back to us. Still, good work with the missing person, detective. Female? You had to see it. It had the subdued color of a female. Incredible. Were there eggs in the nest? Not as far as I could see. There were other things. It's interesting time. Forget about the rest. Yes, but also reed colored, beige and brown, a little green on the outside. After unfolding from a single stalk, it still retained parts that looked like reed tufts and its limbs. <laughs> Incredible. The PR value of this is exceptional. Carp discovers new species. Maybe even discovers the Insulindian phasmid. No, no, that's too much. This would really help with some of the uh, problems we've been having. Absolutely, this is great. This does not say vigilante murderers to me at all. This is science, news, human interest. You know, it's a really good thing you have that photo. Without it. I don't want to, but you discovered the new species and sold them out of So I have to, Jude. Anything that ends the trial is okay with me. Agreed. The public relations potential of this is too valuable to let go. Okay. We have vehicles in the square, and the perpetrator needs to be taken into custody. Let's go. The man jingling his car keys in his pocket. Fuck me, this goes on forever. Who are you? Well, uh. Before you were a cop, you were a gym teacher in Coran. It's getting really cold outside. Harry, it explains everything. The running around, the jumping. The fact that you don't seem to know what homosexuality is. And this guy too. God, even this. Of course. He's been on about Mike again. I hate that guy. It oh, you do. Yes, you do. Kuro is just east of Germany. The regular. I knew it. It's not a mystery. Some chick fucked you over. Also, you were a You really went with it, too. Really maximized the damage. Dora, son. Not Dora, the boy. 
Vasa is with beauty. No one is married anymore. This is Revachol. God, I don't know. Six years ago, she was way before my time. Yeah. Incredibly bangable. He is very passionate about this. Okay, you're right. She was extremely fuckable, Harry. Gorgeous. A gorgeous bourgeois woman. Way fierce. Like a welkin, basically. I've only seen a picture, but it's obvious you formed a real spiritual connection with how pretty she was. One you never. Look, the sun is about to go down. I think she taught in the academy. Did My point is, you need to see a psychiatrist about this shit. Not in other words, he's heard enough about this. Oh, that's not true. Thank you, Lieutenant. You're big. Get back to it. We left Torsen and McLean to run. Okay. Jamrock is. The Thank you again, Lieutenant. Who is Lena? She lives at one one. Tabernacle. Fine. If we. Can. She and her husband were conducting the search for the Fasmid. It's their discovery. In fact. They should know as soon as possible. No. You're too unstable to work for my boss. You're so. I assure you. He would immediately back Pepper. Well, first I will go back to my station and write the most detailed report anyone has ever seen. It will have to be good to cover all these. Then I will have a serious talk with my captain. Detective, we just stopped a small scale war. Something is happening to Revachol. I don't know what yet. But it's going to be a hard spring for the RCM. We need to get ready, infiltrate, investigate. Distant traffic. A scrap of news. Talk to Captain Price? I'd rather not ruffle the feathers of two captains with my doom mongering. Work with Price? I'm flattered, but I don't know if I. This truly came as a surprise to him. Not a bad one, but he's at a loss. Flattered? Juliet no Kitsuragi. We would be flattered if you even considered. I would have to tie things up in GRIH first. But, I mean, whatever is coming, Jamrock will be more central to it than the Harbour. And we also have a huge caseload, you know. Piles for him to get back to. Mountains, even. I do like the sound of that. Cool. He's really considering it. Good. Fuck it, let's go. Trump brought his motor carriage. It's a 20 minute drive to Jamrock. The great district hums in the falling rain. A chessboard of wooden houses, 80,000 living souls, fire traps as far as the eye can see. From Main Street to Grand Cruel, from Precinct 41 to Boogie Street, forking into the rain swept horizon. You close your eyes and hear the dogs bark. A lone woman sits by a factory window, dreaming of meteorite strikes. On Rue de Saint Jerome, a square bullet slides into a square-shaped chamber. In old South, a man without eyelids, smug. Torsen? Yes. McLean? Yes. Heidelstam? No. Wittmere? Yes. Lenoir? Yes. Really? Nick Scott Lee looks up from the list. I hear he's unstable. You say that like it's a... Bad thing. Wonderful. Then can we please just go back to Jamrock now? So this is it.
Uh, that's really it. Okay, we did it. This episode took way too fucking long, by the way. I doubt the credits are that long, right? I mean, like, obviously, it's a pretty small game. Small game as in, like, a small team. So. Yeah, um. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this Go I think it is, uh. Like if I were to redo my top games of 2019 at this point I mean I think it's number four um I think what was number eh, actually no nah, I mean it's probably number six now I think about it but either way I mean like it's still really good like I'm again like I probably like Death Stranding more I probably like a Plague Tale more I probably like Kingdom Hearts 3 more I probably like Resident Evil 2 more I probably like Judge Judgment more but I think it's around that level, though. Like, it's it's right there. Like, it's definitely above the Outer Worlds, which puts it in top six, for sure. For sure, so. Uh, but yeah. Really, uh... Really enjoy this. I don't know if it's gonna make my list or not. Uh, we'll figure out closer uh, to when we get there, but... Again, definitely, uh... Um, but yeah, we're gonna. Uh, so next up will be uh, what's it called? Undertale. It should be interesting. Uh, however, that probably won't be until Tuesday. Probably, and if that, and even then, like probably Tuesday night. Realistically. Um. Yeah, because I'm trying to think through it right now. So we have um, tomorrow I work, uh, and before work I want to work on the Australian Survivor review. After work I'm going to be streaming. Monday morning I think I'm going to record my um, Survivor South Africa review. And to be fair, I might have some time to still play Undertale. We'll see, but um. Even if we do, it'll be very little. And then I'll probably stream that night as well. Uh, on uh, Tuesday morning, I'll probably try to record my uh, Australian Survivor review. But, again, uh, but at night of Tuesday, I have nothing going on. Don't plan streaming, so might record some Undertale there. Wednesday... I don't remember what's going on Wednesday. Uh, nothing, right? So yeah, I should be able to play some there. So yeah, I mean, really, yeah, yeah. Again, it probably won't be until at, um, at the earliest Monday until we're back on this channel. But again, we will see. Oh uh, yeah, Undertale is next. I don't remember what we're playing after Undertale, if I'm being honest. And Undertale's not even supposed to take that long either. Uh, like, from what I understand, it's like seven hours. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Not entirely sure. Um, it'll probably, like, I know I want to play Metal Gear Solid 5 at some point. Timefall 2 is another one I want to play. Hollow Knight. I don't know if I'm going to play Hollow Knight. Uh, we'll we'll probably, probably play Titanfall 2 or The Witness, I think. And then Muggersoft 5 after that. But yeah, that is it. We are fucking done with um, Disco Elysium. And overall, really enjoyed this. Um, I would ideally like to be back at the main menu by the time this is done, but who knows if that's going to happen. Um... Um, no, I mean, uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else to talk about. Uh, anyway, probably not that much. 
So yeah, we're done here. Um, see you guys next time on the trail. Again, like, I don't think this card is going to be done, so uh, we'll just end here. Yeah, thank you for watching.